you want a Halloween special, do you, my pretties? Well, tonight we feast on pumpkin cake. And your little dog, too. <laughs> charity shop for 50p so bargain so pumpkin cake like i just said so basically this is the dry mix and this is the wet mix and that is the pumpkin and that's where i got it from so here are the ingredients um so 300 grams of self-raising flour 300 grams of light muscado sugar i just use light brown uh mixed spice i use cinnamon instead bicarb soda sultanas uh half a tablespoon of salt for eggs butter melted zest of orange and then the pumpkin so yeah the dry bits are the sugar the flour the sultanas uh the cinnamon or the mixed spice or nutmeg or whatever you use and the salt and then in here is the eggs the zest and the 200 grams of melted butter, and this is a pumpkin that was a nightmare to get because I didn't want loads of seeds in it, so I have to kind of like pick out all the seeds. But now I've got a lovely pumpkin that I can carve, all the, you know, it's all carved. So yeah, it worked out okay. So basically, we just add this bad boy into here and uh, give that a good mix. Mm -mm. Mix in, which in, which in. So now we get my big spoon and give it a mix. Mm, my pretty. So what the radio on? It's mellow magic though, and um, basically just give this a massive mix. Uh, don't use a whisk because it's fruitcake, and um, you don't normally use a whisk on fruitcake. It's because it doesn't rise that much. It's a very dense um, cake mixture. That's why they always take longer to cook. So get some elbow grease into it. I'm a little witch brooch on like you might have seen on the sass box. So that's kind of what it's going to look like caramelly. So I'll keep mixing that and then we'll get back onto it. So yeah, I just went to pour out mine and I had loads of dry sugar on the bottom. So make sure you really do the figure of eight. I'm sure you know what that looks like. You really get from the bottom. meant to taste a bit like carrot cake, so we'll see. And then add the pumpkin. Oh. So many seeds still in it, but... Pumpkin seeds are nice, aren't they? Any big chunks you've got in there, just take it out. You don't need them in your life. So this is what it should look like, whoa, it's so full, so it's a really big mixture, um, so make sure you have a 20 centimetre by 30 centimetre tin, as Mary Berry says, the cake tin does actually matter the size of it, because if it's too small, it'll end up too dry, and if it's too wild, it'll end up too moist, wide even, I think I said wild then, but yeah, so this is like the colour of it, and um, Mm, it tastes great. Very orangey, cinnamony. It is actually like carrot cake, so I'll give you that BBC good food. I'll give it you. So that's what you're aiming for. Whack it in the oven and you're ready to go. You don't have a meat temperature thing or a cake temperature. Basically, get like a little skewer, pop it in. If it comes out clean, it's done. Another one is when it's uh, you can really smell it in the room. That means um, the chemical reactions happened and it should be cooked. And then if it's springy, so if you press it and it doesn't spring back up, it needs longer in the oven. If it doesn't, if it does, then you're winning. So yeah, see you in 20. But we're gonna do the cream cheese frosting. <laughs> So you put the cake in for 30 minutes, check out 25 minutes just to check sure, to make sure even it's not burning um, and then just whack a skewer in um, yeah, and just check if it's done. So now we're working on the cream cheese frosting which is my fave so I'll bring you over. To the old ingredient on oh, no. So you've got 200 grams of cream cheese, which is great because they always come in 200 grams. I love it when that happens. You've got a um, tablespoon of orange juice, so I just give it a tiny little squeeze. Uh, 100 grams of ice and sugar, and then 80 grams of butter. And I think that's that. Oh, and the zest. A zest of full orange. So as you can see, it's pretty much bald. These are actually really nice oranges. I was like, mmm, zesty. So yeah, and we just beat the shit out of that, and then we're done. Wow. <laughs> 
So I decided to whisk it in the end because look how amazing it looks whisked. And um, if I get you a spoon, like, it'll like hold, it won't drop, like, woo! And um, it tastes great. So that chills in the fridge now until the cake's done. And when the cake is done, we prick it all over and we squeeze half an orange juice on there, or half an orange as it was, and um, let that cool completely. And then we put that bad boy on it. So make sure you put it in the fridge or it'll melt away. Look at this baby. And the carpenters are on in the background. Just great. So yeah, I checked with the skewer, nothing came out. Um, it's quite a moist cake. So yeah, I pricked it um, and it's done. 25 minutes in, I put a big piece of foil over it to basically just stop it burning. And now it looks great. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the right way around. Prick it like this, all the way over, dead quick, and then pull the orange juice on. Oh my god, Adele is gracing the cake. It is divine. It smells and tastes of carrot cake, as you can see. I just had a little cheeky nibble. So now, um, like we did before, but I'll do it this side as well, just pokey poke, and then we just squeeze the orange over. Half orange, like this, like that, why it's warm. And you just make sure um, you cover the whole cake. Well, I'm so excited. I've never made carrot cake before. It's one of my favourite cakes. And this actually tastes like carrot. So I'm one happy witch. So the cake is cool. My housemates are in bed. Give us a good little mix and then just whack it on. Oh, mix the rain go. So I've cut the edges of my cake in trims ahead from a big massive dollop of cream cheese and if you've got a plate like knife or palette knife or whatever you call them, that's better if not use the spoon and kind of round it out. So let's figure out how to do this and just kind of make sure there's always ice in there to spread so you're not spreading it in crumbs and carry on like that, just whacking it out and whacking it down. And it's my newborn baby. I am in love with it. Look at me and him. But yeah, I tried to do a little bit of a pipe effect. Not a pipe effect, but I just go like that. And then I tried to be all fancy and put some walnuts to kind of just place on the top. That one has some crumbs in the way. And just kind of make a proper carrot cake. I'm making a mess now. I burnt my hand too. So proud of my masterpiece. Look at it. Topped it with walnuts. It's like a proper carrot cake now. All ready to eat. I'm trimming this for me. Mm -mm, with a tiny bit of cheese left over. And there we have it. How to make your very own pumpkin cake. <laughs> my pretties. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, share, tweet, join the movement.